Virgo, this is your career and money reading. This is a quick and general reading, so take what resonates and drop the rest. If you're interested in one-on-one, -on -one, just a private reading, the details are below. You can book your session. The link is below in the description box. Oops, okay. The answer is no. Sleep on it. Mm, let's pick another one. And here, wow, two, okay. Divine feminine, step into your power. It is time to commit. Huh, interesting. Well, uh, use what applies to your current situation for your career and money situation, okay? See what, which one works best for you. Um, well, they all came up, so we're going to take them all. Right, so um, right now we're going to pick three cards from this tarot deck and they will be the final outcome of this entire reading. We're going to place three cards here and open them at the end of the reading. Now, in this reading, we are going to pick, um, we're going to look at your situation, right? The general energy with regards to career and money. We are going to see what are your biggest blocks, and then we are also going to see what is the solution, all right, to assist you in your career and money situation for the goal. So the top three cards would be the final outcome. Okay, we'll open them at the end of the reading. And here we are going to see, all right, so can we have the strongest energy here for Virgo, Virgo <laughs> would like to know uh, what is the current situation with regards to money, with regards to career. Oh, they dropped them on the floor. Let me pick them up. And here we go. We have five magician, five of wands, and we have the emperor. Okay. So the current situation for career and money, certainly uh, magician is about using the power of your mind. So you really do need to keep a positive, um, positive outlook, positive mindset, and also know that there are opportunities. You do have resources. Maybe sometimes you can't see them. Um, They're very clear, but you can't seem to see them. Um, it's not clear in your view. Um, and you have the five of wands and that could be the reason why you are feeling conflicted at times uh, with regards to your situation because you're not seeing clearly. All right. So there is a need to embrace the emperor energy. The emperor is about having more leadership skills, having more uh, structure in your day to day. When it comes to career and money, you do, you do need more structure. And this means that, you know, uh, creating a schedule like how are you, you know, bringing things into fruition? Uh, what are you manifesting? How are you, you know, your to-do list and things like this, okay? So this the practical action is really needed. All right. Now, let's get some clarifiers for the first three parts. And we have here, we have the four of pentacles. Um, you're feeling insecure, yeah? You're feeling a little bit fragile. Uh, with regards to your career and money situation. Um, but at the same time, you are asked to follow your heart and also to allow the natural leading, uh, nat natural born leader qualities to come up, to be much more optimistic. So there is a, a real conflict, right? The conflict between yourself is the sense of insecurity and confidence. So, you know, you seem to be um, you're going back and forth, right? Between these two. Now, if you spend too much energy going back and forth, you're not going to use your resources properly to manifest what is it that you really want to manifest for your career and money situation. So pick a, a side. <laughs> you need to pick one side. Which side would you want to pick? Now? Obviously, you want to pick the king of wands, right? Which is your natural born leader, abilities, optimism, uh, having more structure in your life, using your resources. 
Now, but you do need to address your insecurity. Where's the insecurity coming from? It's probably in the shadow. Maybe you're not aware. It can, you know, when it comes to money, most of the time we are dealing with some childhood stuff, right? We grow up in a certain environment where money may be a challenge, maybe an issue, and that imprint is quite powerful. And we carry that into adult life, right? So that needs to be addressed. Okay, so for shadow work, please check out my other channel called Musings from the Past, Present and Future. I teach, um, there are videos there. I talk about shadow work, how to parent yourself, how to, you know, uh, emotional resilience and all of that. So go check out the channel. You have the resource there, right? That's part of the magician energy. There's a resource there. And um, so these cards I'm picking, these new set of cards I'm picking is about the blocks, right? That you are facing. So the blocks is you are trying to juggle too many things happening at the same time. So there is a challenge of uh, juggling and also a challenge of like, you know, you're trying to weigh your responsibilities. And at the same time, you're not clear at the moment. There seems to be uh, you, you, that, that sense of being stuck right um perhaps you feel it deep inside you that you have new ideas you have a new direction there are things that you want to do but at the same time it feels muted as though it is not very clear as though it's very foggy um you, you get a general sense but you don't have a clear idea now i wouldn't worry about it if i were you because even though it's positioned in a block I feel that it's only temporary, right? Because there's so much going on. There's so much to juggle. You're weighing your responsibilities. I get, you know, let's get some clarifiers for this um, Eight of Swords. Ace of Swords on its own means clarity. Because it's in a blocked position, it means that you do not have clarity. And what you need to do is you need to align with your higher self. You need to align with uh, people with the same values as, as you. When you align with people who have the same values as you, you will get the clarity that you are after. Okay. You have the magician again, right? So magician coming up twice means uh, is power of your mind is about turning your vision into reality. So visualization skills, very important. And know that you do have the resources. It is about manifesting things. It's about focus. Right. So don't get distracted by all these, you know, the chatter going on in your head that doesn't believe, um, that doesn't believe in you. Now, even if you do not have clarity, you still must have you, you it's so important to be able to hold that sense of positivity and know that even if you can't see it, things are gonna work out. Right, because if you spend too much time dwelling in the negativity, what is going to happen is you, it's just going to spiral. All right, so have a set uh, schedule, a discipline for you to, you know, go about your day, doing your daily routine, you know, weighing your responsibility, do what you must do, align with your higher self, right? Um, and what is also very important is to be very honest, you know. Um, be open to taking constructive criticisms as well. That's one of the keys that can help you to overcome this block that you have. Be open. Know that you know people are not out there to put you down or to attack you in any way. Um, these criticisms sometimes can be very, very constructive. You know, take them um, in a way that's going to be beneficial for you, right? And have clear boundaries. Okay, your card has dropped on the floor again. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> the cards are dropping all over the place. Okay, let me pick that. And we have here judgment, right? So this next set, this next row of cards would be um, solution. What can you do, right? And it's good that you have the judgment here. The judgment here is that it's important that you listen to your inner calling. All right, you do need to listen to your inner calling. And what may be happening also is that you are allowing the little things to distract you. So much so that you're not listening to your inner calling. You're allowing the nitty-gritty, maybe you're spending 
uh, too much time and energy on things that are uh, not as important as you think, right? And we have King of Pentacles, which is really nice, right? King of Pentacles is about reliability. King of Pentacles is about uh, staying disciplined. And, you know, King of Pentacles, ultimately Pentacles is about money, is about career, about your earthly life, and being the king, right? That's a very powerful energy to have. So lean into this energy to help you to bring about the manifestation of your career and money situation um, to up-level you, right? To go to the next level of growth and development. Let's get some clarifiers here. For We'd like to know more about the devil. What is it about the devil? Can we have a clarifier? Okay. For the devil. For Virgo. Okay. And we have here the fool. Okay, that's good. Um, so you are coming into a new beginning. You're entering a new path for sure. So do not allow the little things to pull you down. You do need to take a leap of faith. All right, a leap of faith. Having trust in the universe is so important. Um, don't doubt or question the universe and how things play out because sometimes uh, they may not play out in the way that you thought they would play out, but they're going to play out for your highest good. So reminder here, Virgo, you do need to step into your feminine power. That's the divine feminine energy. And here also a reminder that it is time to commit. Whatever it is, uh, you have to put your 100% in because commitment creates luck. Okay, don't forget that. Now let's get some soul message for you. What is it that your soul wants to communicate with you here, Virgo? To In your current career and money situation, we have this one. What are the dominant emotions that run my life? How apt? Because if you allow those negative dominant emotions, dominant emotions to run your life, what's going to happen is it's going to cause you, uh, it's going to be chaotic, right? So let's have a look at what it says. Today's soul action, lean into what you want to feel and adjust your life, your values and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? How do you fill your day? Stress or joy? Trust or anger? Anxiety or peace? We have only today, right now, the journey. No goal, no destination will bring us the feeling we seek. But when we begin filling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. This is fulfillment. All right? So ask yourself, what are the dominant emotions that run your life? Now, bear in mind that if there are uh, you're going through some things now, um, it is okay. Uh, that shadow work, then you just need to process those emotions. Uh, this is talking about your day-to-day, -day, all right? If, the, if your day-to-day -day is run by negativity, then it's very important for you to address this, okay? Now, let's see what the final outcome is for your reading. We have here three of pentacles. Very important that you work with a team to create the success that you want for your career and for your money situation. We have the knight of wands, which is you know about being brave and taking inspired action. And then we have six of wands. Six of wands is being in the limelight and also claiming victory this is the final outcome very very powerful you have to take the inspired action work with the team and then you will enjoy the limelight you will enjoy victory and admiration this is good you must claim it do not um, put it down do not uh, eat a thick humble pie right take it as it is you just need to take it as it is and um yeah, and allow it to unfold, right, Virgo? So that's all I have for you in this reading. I look forward to your next reading, Virgo. If this message resonates, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again. Bye for now.